Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new uh, Claude Maurice card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card who is five foot nine, medium, medium work rates, right footed, four star skill moves, three star weak foot. So it is a card that you mainly want to play in the right sided positions, depending on your play style, of course, but like I said, for me personally, it's always strong foot on the strong side as much as possible. Uh, In-game player traits. He has the outside foot shot trait, which could actually be helpful outside the 18 yard box from time to time. Uh, In-game attributes. This card is going to be working with 91 for acceleration, 89 for sprint speed, which is very good because with this card, you can either give him a shadow chemistry style, an anchor chemistry style to make him as good as possible and all rounded uh, for your team because... With this card, guys, 9189 for a plus five plus five is actually pretty solid because if you give him the anchor chemistry style, right, this card is going to have 81 aggression with 89 for strength. The strength you'll notice less because of the fact that the card has a lean body type, but it's still going to be there and helpful, right? Uh, the extra jumping is going to be helpful too. Uh, for a card like this, Yes, the slide tackle is not being improved as much as well as the interceptions. If you really care to improve those things, you can give him a shadow, right? But we're going to be testing him out on the anchor to see what he's like in these positions, right? Uh, because, you know, he gets the extra aggression, he gets the extra strength, but we have to test out the card, right? So base card stats for shooting is actually set up really nicely as well. So if you want to use a card like this, uh, let's just say in the center mid position, a 4 one 2 and 2 right? He actually can attack when given the opportunity to. Uh, his passing, also very good as well for a midfielder. That, to work with the 82 composure, is pretty decent. The only thing that's low on the card is the 74 for, for, for reactions. But I honestly don't think that's going to be that big of a deal. Because for me personally, if you unlock a card like this for your squad, it is because you have the intention of lining him up next to someone who's most likely going to be a high, high work rate of player or even a medium high, just for that nice little balance between the midfielders, right? But it also depends on your play style. Sometimes people have like two high mediums and they don't really care. It actually works out really well for them, right? But it's always nice to have a balance in that midfield position, right? But like I said, for a midfielder, guys, the dribbling is set up nicely. Reactions is low, sure, but he's a midfielder. That with a lean body type at a five foot nine height, his dribbling should be pretty good for a midfielder. It really should. Uh, base card stats for defending is set up nicely because when you give him either the anchor chemistry style or the shadow chemistry style, you will be giving him some defensive stats to be able to play that midfield position nicely. I think the biggest stat here that some people may want to improve the most is going to be for interceptions, right? The extra plus five for that interceptions could be something that people want to look into a little bit because you get the extra pace with the interception. So it's a little bit nice, you know, it's a little bit nice. Uh, but then last but not least, guys, he has 79 for strength, 76 for aggression, and 85 for stamina is a pretty decent cutoff uh, for someone who is medium, medium work rated. So with this card in game, guys, we are going to be trying him out in two different formations. We're going to be testing him out attacking and defensive wise because that is the important thing for a card like this, right? 4231, probably gonna have him on the get forward instruction for the right center center defense mid position, um, while also using him in a 442 with forward runs. But the instructions are stay back while attacking cover center because we are also reviewing uh, a couple of other cards here too. So we're gonna see how he plays in game. Hopefully he is a beast. What we're gonna be doing first, guys, is we're gonna be, we're gonna be testing out a lot of uh, attacking opportunities with him, right? Trying to get him involved in the attack. And then we're gonna test him out in the midfield position defending and stuff because um with medium medium work rates you want them to be good at both right so on a white too much power on that but you can already tell guys that a card like this with his explosiveness is actually very cool to work with White time shot on that. Good animation for the strike. Great interception there. We'll take that. First time strike. Way too much power again by me. Nice, we'll take that. Beautiful goal. We work that angle there, get the near post. Good stuff. Come 
on a white. On a white, too. Good stuff. Great defensive play again. That lean body type, dude, I'm telling you. Oh, way too much acceleration. That's my fault. I shouldn't have done that in that area. Great dribbling, man. When under pressure, it's good to have uh, dribbling like that. Oh, beauty, Claude. Nice. Ron switch again off of a rough touch too that body type with his dribbling stats is super nice man you know just doing the roulettes quick touches look at that i didn't uh, that one was it wasn't even timed at all like it, it that one didn't register at all but quick dribbles man Beautiful challenge. Nicely done. This cloud card, I, like, I had a feeling, man. I was, like, mentioning in the uh, the analytical video where we were trying to checking out the uh, cards and the potential that they have. It looked like uh, this card would have made sense, for sure. All position again. Arante is the one that initially got it, but... Listen, before I even controlled him, his track back was really fast there, too. Not even controlling him right here, look. Pretty aggressive, actually. He actually goes upwards there. Don't mind that, because now I could switch to him here. Work with him through the middle. The block off. I'm going to actually force him right here. Almost. Good effort. On the spot, beauty of the pass. That was insane. This guy's performing so well for me right now. Angle still hits him nice. This Cloud Maurice card, man, they 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 did some good stuff to him, dude. It's kind of like um in Kunku's card, right? Like medium medium, but it plays pretty well. Nice. Needed some animation there. I, I'm liking this card a lot, man. Like, <laughs> I'm liking him a lot. Oh, come on. Cloud again with the interception, man. Oh, I thought putting the pressure on him would have given me the ball. No. Backs back into his position quickly, too. That's not bad. I'm going to put him here. I'm going to use this guy here. Yeah, the track back's not bad. All over him, man. Let's go. Nice. Good run. Good run. Well done, Claude. We'll take that. Defrel, Defrel in the right position at the right time. We'll definitely take that. Under pressure does well. Very good. Well weighted pass again. Well done. Okay.
Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Claude Maurice card. So, guys, honestly, you cannot go wrong for the price range of this card for what he offers in game. You genuinely can't. For the type of midfielder that this guy is going to be in your team for the price of the card, it's pretty solid. Because honestly, if this SPC, or not SPC, excuse me, if this transfer market card was released like an SPC, the price range as an SPC would be sick. Right? So on the transfer market for 71k, honestly, guys, you can't go wrong. For a League One player, that pretty much is good at doing everything, right? He can attack. He can defend. There's situations where when you're playing the game, you feel like you want that shadow. You want that extra pace because with this card, guys, because he has that lean body type, right? And his you know height is a five foot nine. He would feel more explosive, but not only that, you would also be working with some extra interceptions. The sliding tackles I don't care too much about, but it's the extra interceptions. Interceptions is a really big thing in FIFA that would be cool to work with. But not only that, guys, when you give him that extra pace, it's great for when he maybe overcommits on the attack, but then he comes back really quickly on the defense as well, right? But for a card like this, guys, there is no right or wrong answer. Some people are actually giving him a dead eye chemistry saw, I guess, if they actually use him in his original position. But guys, the reason why I didn't try him in the cam position is because if you use him there, that's more for fun, obviously. But a card like this, you know, let's just say, for instance, you gave him an anchor like we were using for this entire review. I thought he was really good on the anchor, man. I think the extra aggression plus five, the extra 10 for the strength, uh, the extra defensive stats while still still working with 96 acceleration, 94 for sprint speed as a midfielder is really good, guys, because listen, man. You guys know that Ronaldo Sanchez, right? Like the rare gold card. Some people still use this card. I use it on my main account, right? He has 86.93. On a shadow, he's 96.93, right? Look at this, 96.94. So if I'm okay with Ronaldo on a shadow with 96.93, I should be okay with this card, right? Obviously, Ronaldo's a little bit different because the high, high work rate's very meta in this game. But I still like this card a lot on an anchor. I think the price... Of the card is great i think that the links you can work with for your team is sick because obviously first of all french player right and then the second one is the league one links guys league one and french is crazy and then you know you know if you did if you did the dante card i think it actually shows up here doesn't it like as a strong link does it not show up as a strong link for this i feel like it would yeah there he is if you did the Dante card, you know what I'm saying? Dante wasn't too bad. He's just not, he doesn't touch Marquinhos and Kempempe, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, you can't go wrong for the price, guys. I think he's a very good player. Uh, I enjoyed using him in the team. Obviously, I prefer not to have medium medium if I could choose, right? But I still think that the card is pretty solid for. His price is actually dropping right now, so I should sell this one uh, quick because I'm pretty sure I have him for like 80K. But uh, yeah, very good card, man. Hopefully you guys... Uh, Enjoyed the video. Be sure to try him out. He's actually pretty sick, dude. I enjoyed using him for what he was.